guys so it's been a while yes um and first off 2023 has been a really shitty year but one of the big light things for me that has been amazing is you guys you guys have been amazing this year thank you so much for being here thank you for chatting with me thank you for talking uh thank you for coming to my instagram talking to me there and i really appreciate your support i appreciate the kind messages and uh, I'm trying to forget all the mean ones. <laughs> uh, 2023 has been a really rough year for most people financially. And for me, it's been a very rough year health-wise too. And it's not over yet. So I've got new doctor's appointments and stuff for stuff. So with that out of the way, thank you so guys for being there. Thank you for kind comments. Thank you for questions. Thank you for ideas. I love you guys so much for that, that it's been a really true light in my life. It's it's amazing. I love you guys so much. You have no idea how much you mean to me. With that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about what you can use your junk journal for. So you might have been given a junk journal like this one. I was given this for my birthday. Uh, you might have made one. You have maybe bought one or something and you're sitting there and you're looking maybe it has pockets or tucks and stuff and you sit and look at the stuff and you don't quite know what to do with it so I'm gonna show you a little bit here and if you don't have a junk journal just grab this happened to be kind of a specially sized notebook let me just remove I have this so I don't put stuff on the other pages because it's quite thick so this is just a little notebook that I bought and I thought it was kind of fun size fun shape and I will probably have to remove some pages <laughs> or this is gonna be very round when it's done uh, I use this in quite different way I guess and uh, let's go over it a little bit talk about the different stuff you can do with your junk journals and and so on and some of the stuff is gonna be very personal um, you don't have to make your, your journal very personal. You can make it kind of, yeah, let's, let's just open and talk about it. So for this one, I started with, uh, I immediately, since she had start doing things you love, that was what, uh, Sana put on there. So I felt that was motivation, goals, dreams, and thoughts. So I, I wrote that there. And I hear people say, oh, my handwriting sucks. My handwriting is so bad. This is not perfect. If you look at that, you know, look at the V there. I haven't, like, it's not perfect. Different sizes, different spacing. It's not perfect, but it's mine. It's for me. And I need to drink something. <laughs> Sorry, my mouth is really dry. So let's start opening up this one I put in after. She had put this, the pockets, and the tags. So what I did, I started playing and sketching a little bit around doodling, I guess is the word I'm looking for, around the, the lace. And I've been jumping back and forth in this, so I've been doing stuff all over the place. Um, so since this one is motivation, goals, dreams and thoughts, that's what I have in it. So I, I heard this quote, spread joy and you become happy yourself. And I feel that's very true. So I wanted it in there. I wanted it in the beginning because I feel like if we make someone happy, I get happy out of them being happy. You know, so, and I feel that that's something that goes. A heart without dreams is like a bird without feathers. And as you can see, it's not perfect writing. It's different sizes. It's different everything. And it's wonky and it's, it's not perfect. And here I wrote down who gave me the journal and why and when and so on. Because I wanted that kind of in the front here. Uh, follow your dreams, they know the way. And I've done some doodling around it. That, that, some roads, crossroads and stuff. And uh, that's like doodle in your journal. Take it out when you just, you know, need to clear your head. Just grab it, open a page and start doodling. Write down thoughts. Uh, have I done anything? No, I haven't done anything on the back of those that yet. Another thing that I've been doing with this one, I'm not going to show you those. <laughs> because those have people that 
other people in the uh, country here so for this one i have some of my old pets in here so uh some old pet photos this is not too old i lost him this summer 2023 was a tough year for that too oh i really miss him so much so um he is the only guy still alive among these pets i lost them all Rocca, you might remember she's been in a few videos on my other channel and isn't that adorable yeah so i put some um, some photos in a pocket i have some in uh, one of these pockets too and you can doodle in it she had some pages that were like this and i colored them in and you don't have to color the whole thing so you can just do a little bit of coloring and for me this was going to be motivation i'm going to do this so it's easier to to flip uh what i wanted to do was motivation that was like because I'm really low motivation, you know, health is bad, money is bad, I don't know how to pay my bills, you know, stuff like that. And it's draining, so I feel I need stuff that kind of gets me going, makes me happy. Um, and one of the things you can use is just these motivational stickers. You can find them different packs. Um, if you look for motivational stickers, you can find packs with this kind of stuff uh some have for journaling for for like bullet journaling you can find that have this kind of motivational stuff um fun to use easy to use and uh i had so many ideas and now i'm just bleh. <laughs> <laughs> so here are some other motivational stickers and so on so they they like this one and then i pick up that that color so this has pink orange and green so i'm gonna use pink orange and green for this one and uh here was another thing your handwriting is not good so it might look like something like that yeah oh let me move stuff out of the way something like that and it's not too pretty right so what you do is grab a marker eyeliner marker hang on I have so much stuff on my on my table right now. So let's see if this was one that works. This was one of the thicker ones. Uh, I have thinner ones, thinner ones. Uh, let's see, this is a 0 0.5. Let's see if this one works. So I'm left-handed, so excuse me for hiding stuff. Um, so once you've written it, I mean, just you get something in your head like... Um, the weather is this and that and the degrees are this and that you might just sketch it down like really fast then afterwards if you just feel like doodling or do you know you don't really know what to write go to a page where you just written something really quickly and go in and start to play with the letters because you already have them there you know the spelling is there and then that makes it easier to start playing with the letters so you might want to this pen is really bad of course it is since i'm filming so just by making that a little bit darker it makes it look better but you can also and now it's waking up okay good um, i'm shading my writing you can also play with it you can you can make them different shape you can go outside the line like that see uh let me zoom in a little bit more and move you. There we go. There, you can see you go outside the line and then fill them in. This pen really doesn't want to go with me. I've been using them a lot. <laughs> and you can play with that. And you can, you can make this. I'm sorry, that pen is annoying me. Let's see if this one's better. Yeah, it's better. But it's thicker, so I'm not just a, not so happy with it so fine liners is a nice thing to have at home you don't need to use black you can use other colors too you can use i know there was this big kit with uh, uh, fine liners in different colors you can use gold silver anything that you really feel like that fits the page 
Now, I prefer to use black because my sight is going, so um, it gives a nice contrast, easy to see. Now, I want, might want to change that A to one of those A's. And you don't need to use the same size for every letter, but you can sit and play. Play with the letters. You can make it look like that. And you can play with it and make it look something like that. So, you know, and you can just sit and play and doodle with your letters. You can make little smileys. You can make little, you know, make very snarkly, not snarkly. What, what's the word I'm looking for here? Very kind of like this. Something like that. Like really swirly, <laughs> snarkly. <laughs> Yeah, just make it snarkly. Um, that's a new word. Just snarkly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, kind of like posh with little swirls and, and stuff. and Or you can make them look like animals. You can make them look like plants. You can make them look any way you want. So as long as it is something you enjoy doing, just sit there and play. The important part is that you can actually read what it says. Because <laughs> I have some old journals that I just wanted to write stuff down and to get it out of my head. Because I have a lot of stuff going on in my head. <laughs> so you just want to, you know, scramble it down. And today I can't read it. <laughs> I have no idea what it says. So um, even though the, the, the writing might not be great at first, I can always go back in and adjust it. Or if I choose to, I can glue stuff over it and rewrite it. Uh, if there's a quote or something I said that doesn't really matter to me anymore, that doesn't really feel like me anymore, um, I can just go in and, and change it. Um, so for these little tags here, I started to go in and sketch a little bit on them. Just do a little doodling sketches. I did a little doodle on, on the pocket here too. And uh, there was a butterfly on a flower. And um, this one, I think, was very simple. I just, yeah, did two little extra flowers on top of there. And then I just write stuff. And I used the little spaces that are left for from her stenciling. Let's see if I can show you some of these. Because I have, yeah, this is one of my old horses. He was so sweet. He was probably one of the sweetest horses I've ever met um, yeah so uh, I have a lot of memories photos and the writing on here has nothing to do with the photos I just wanted the photos in here because this is a very personal journal and as you can see I've been jumping back and forth and I've been putting some you know text in on the on the on the for this one I just wrote that I got an air humidifier from a friend of mine for my 50th birthday and I wrote his name so I know it's just, just something I wanted to remember I just put it in here I wanted to remember what I put in here so for these uh, these she had a lot of these type of stuff in these pockets so instead I took some of these cards and I wrote some quotes on the back and I put some stickers there and I intend to write quotes on the front I just haven't thought of what I wanted to write yet and I have this card uh, that's from like an encouraging box you know with a lot of cards so it says be yourself do what you want and let, let nothing hold you back so I, I just put that card in there because I felt I need to remind myself of that and now my light is flickering why why is it flickering hello I don't know how to fix that. And here I put a lot of quotes and then I started to play with, you know, remember these? Uh, so you can play with a lot of stuff. Uh, I have some Tim Holtz too. And oh my God, these are st some strange texts too on these. I Sorry, need a sip. These Tim Holtz. Why would I want Mildred? There are so many names in these. I, I bought two. 
because reasons. <laughs> <laughs> you do that, buy two of something that you think you're going to like or that you actually do like and you buy two of them. Anyway, so this is Tim Holtz ideology uh, clipping sticker book uh, and it has 622 stickers and there are a lot of names here we have mary mrs urace pettigrew why would i want that there's a lot of names here and i mean numbers i can understand but names and it's not like common names uh either it's like herman claire i mean claire is kind of common name but josephine cora but how often do you actually use names? And I feel those are going to be left in this. This is Olive, Mildred. Um, I mean, Pearl is a name, but you can also use it like a Pearl. Um, Maurice, Margaret. Didn't we have Margaret earlier too? Anyway. And uh, Maggie Sue. That, that's not a very common name. Maggie Sue. Lillian. Uh, Adeline. Theodore. I mean, th there's just a ton of names in this. And I don't like that. So I kind of regret buying two. But the words in there that are good are really good. So I've actually been using that. So she didn't press her luck. And then I continue to write. And put in another word. And continue to write. And just... Getting myself inspired by words in here. Um, and for this one, I started to write down film ideas for videos. So I have that there, of course. And this journal is kind of funny because I mix English and Swedish. So uh, let me move stuff so you can see. So on this one, I have... Note to myself, take the risk or lose the chance. Because I have... Ah, sorry, my cup is in the way. Uh, I've lately been missing out on a lot of stuff because low energy due to health issues, but also because so many things have gone wrong that I start to get really scared to do new things. And without doing new things, you don't move forward. You're just stuck in one place. And I don't like that. I want to keep moving forward. So take the risk or lose the chance. Have the courage to be kind. So even if someone do something mean to you, if I'm going to be grumpy or angry about it, that's going to affect me. That person most likely won't give a crap if you are pissed with them or not. Okay, this flickering is driving me nuts. Why do I have so much flickering all of a sudden? I don't know how to fix that. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, so... But if I'm kind, I feel good about I've done the best I can in that situation. So, but with the ADHD, my temper is so I kind of, yeah. So that's a little note to me. Reminder, you are stronger than you think. You you can do it. You, you can push forward. You, you Even the days when you feel like I can't go on anymore. My past has proven to me that I can. Whenever I felt that I can't do this anymore, I can't go on anymore. I wake up the next day, take a new breath, keep going. And uh, sooner or later you come through at the other end. So you are stronger than you think. And here is a big reminder. This is something I need to remember. And I don't know about you, but progress, not perfection. I can sit and fiddle on something for hours on end and never get it done. So... um or I run around and do several different things and um, I feel they're not done because they're not at the level that I want them to be. So, yeah, it's some reminders to me myself. And then uh, this little thing, I thought, why not? That's also something we need to ask ourselves sometimes. So she had this one and I t she had this... Um, little thing about sleep and so I wrote some tips here on how to sleep better because sleep is always been a thing for me that 
I've struggled with my whole life. So putting in personal things, when when they have tag, oh, this one I haven't wrote, written anything on. Let me find something that I actually done something here. So for this one, this is a cute card. So on the back, I put on some, again, I used this. I couldn't quite find exactly what I wanted, but similar and just glued it on there. I made it very personal, but I wanted to keep this. And for this one, I like this part. I just added the little kitty cat there. I think this is good as it is. I don't want to put anything else on this side. So I wrote a little quote on the back. And it says, it is what's within you that makes you miserable or happy. Unhappy or happy. Um, and she had started, she had put this green sticker there and a green butterfly there. And she had this card that had green. So I went further and put green sticker there, green sticker there, a little green leaf glued there. And I used a green pen to write the quotes and I glued worth there. I thought that was important because I often feel worthless and I'm not alone in that. I know a lot of people that feel that way. Nothing you do is really good. Um, so yeah, so that page I chose green because there was always some there was already some green element there and I kept going. It's not done. Many of these things so here I there was a lot of pink stuff, so um, I used pink pink ink <laughs> and I put a sticker there and uh, kept going. And this one is stuff that I need to remove from my life. So I started to write it down and make cross them over because I need to remove these from my life. It's the already, oh, I should, I maybe I should, or maybe, and you know, I need to, you know, be more, I'm gonna zoom back out a bit. It becomes less, oh, that's zoomed out, wait. There we go. Um, what else can you do? Well, uh, yeah, like I said, use photos. Uh, put them in there um, we are it, it becomes more personal than than just a regular photo album you can use more like classic scrapbooking you put a photo and decorations around it write something that happened around it uh, I'm gonna go in and write on the back of the photos because I feel that's Many of the photos that I found, old photos, I'm really curious about what's actually going on in the photo. And I would have loved if someone had written on the back of the photo what it is. Where it is, who they are, why they're there, and so on. Here I started to, to fill in little stuff. Um, sometimes you don't need to make a lot on a page. You can just write one quote and do some doodling. So I started doodling a little bit there. Um, here I um, did a mix between stickers and writing and here she had put in little uh, library cards thingy dictionary word things and I put in some little reminders between them and here I put a big sticker and um, here are some more photos. I need to show you this photo. This photo is amazing. So I removed, I don't remember what was there, but I removed that and put some photos in. I still kept this one because I, I have so many that I don't need them yet, but I will use them. <laughs> this is my dog. <laughs> How amazing is that photo? She was so happy and she's rolling around on her back. So I miss her to bits. This was when she was really old. She became 19 and a half years old before I had to say goodbye to her because she had a stroke and she was really disoriented and, and really lost after. And her um, they did some blood work on her and kidneys and stuff weren't the best, best place. So I could have made her go a bit further, but I felt she had a good life after she came. She was uh, a rescue dog. So, um, yeah, but she became old and she had a good life. And when she started to have like seizures and strokes and stuff, I felt it's time to say goodbye. She shouldn't go through that because it was very stressful for her. Um, so like, yeah, like I said, uh, I put in a lot of quotes. So here 
uh, have fun achieve you don't need to put like full quotes sometimes just a word is is enough with just two words dare to begin inspire achieve have fun believe i can make it happen never settle you are stronger than you think you are enough and you can repeat stuff and here was a little corner pocket and again i put her in same dog i miss her that's me and her i miss her to bits i really miss i had dogs for 40 years 40 years i had dogs and that meant three walks a day and um yeah I miss doing that. And my body says, yeah, you need to get a move on. Um, what else can we talk about here? Um, let me see what else have I done. So like the stickers. So I put stickers that match the quote that I put in here. Um, and sometimes I just wrote stuff down. Where do I have somewhere? Of course, now I don't find it. Uh, here that's in Swedish so it's gonna be take forever to translate uh, sorry uh, impossible is just an opinion everything was impossible and you can always use these as guest books too you can just hand these over to like when you have a friend over and just say grab a page write something just if nothing else just your name or a date just put it anywhere in the book uh, you can use them for like a mix of variety of things. You can, uh, like the classic one is to document your travels, like a regular scrapbook, just little note, little pieces of brochures from where you're going. You can create a recipe journal. Oh, I should have taken that. Where, I wonder where I have, I have a recipe journal that I started uh, that has like um, uh, old time recipes for like health, like, um, oh, what's the word? Medicinal herbs and, and stuff like that and how to use them. Uh, and I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. I, I know I put it in a box somewhere, but yeah, I have a lot of boxes. <laughs> um, you can use them as daily planner. You can put your to-do lists in. I personally, I love you know, I talked about these tiny, I make them a lot too, these tiny ones. And these I usually put to-do lists on or shopping lists or like little tiny things need to remember, little reminder thingies. Uh, so I actually use these small things quite often and I have a lot that I made recently. Do you want to make some with me one day? I, I have a lot of them. So I have a little reminder here. I wrote it down. Uh, you can make a poetry journal. I actually started to write some of my, I found um, a little notebook I made with a lot of my old poetry. So I figured I'm going to go through it and put some of my favorites in here too. Uh, you can use it as a sketchbook. You can doodle in it. Like I started to, I do a little doodle here and there. And I did do some, I wonder where it is. Um... And it, it, to have a variety of things, to not just have the weather, not just have poems, but to have a little doodle here, have a sticker there, have uh, some photos put in with some text on behind where you can see where it is, who it was, where when it was. Uh, it it really gives, makes it fun to flip through even when it's full. And whenever it's full, you know, you can always remove stuff from the pockets and put new stuff in and, and so on. So it's never, or you can glue pages in. You can like, take for example here, I can just grab another paper and just glue it in there. And I have another flip out and I have some extra writing space. So you can actually keep going. And sometimes something you've written isn't for you anymore and you might not want it anymore you can just rip it out and glue another page in and if you leave like a little bit in the in here you can just glue the page to that or just glue something over here um there there are like no limits the only limit is your imagination uh you can use it as a sketchbook you can draw paint use it as an art journal i'm gonna grab this one now so this is just a simple notebook. It has very thin, flimsy papers. You can even see through them. 
I think. I don't know how to hold it up so you can see. But they are see-through pages. And I just... Some pages I just felt I need to create something. Sometimes I wanted... This one is a little memory page for my dad. And uh, I found this image in a book with a woman sitting next to a man that's dying in bed. Uh, or sick at least. And... Um, we used Lily of the Valley for his funeral and uh, I have his birthday and his death day and I said it's goodbye dad down here. Um, no more time. And it's like some things in this is very personal and sometimes I do this and here I just started because I bought this stamp and I just wanted to play with it so I put this stamp here and I built off that. Um, and I put that stamp and the side stamps and I felt, ah, that's boring. Let's put some color in. So I added the flowers and I just, I wanted to write something. I just didn't know what. So I printed out the papers. I have them. I have them. I have them. I printed out. I did a lot of these and just printed out and I cut it out, inked it, put some sparkles. This is a very sparkly, spe sparkly. Page. I can't speak. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I can't speak. Uh, for this one, I have the crow. And I just loved that. So I did some stenciling first. Left a little space in the middle and put the crow there. And then I just started working from that. I did some black stamping on the edges. And learning to fly to the best of her ability. She was a strange little girl. Yes, I was. <laughs> adventure and the adventure begins and I feel I need to remind myself of that life is an adventure you shouldn't be scared to try new things and here's another sad page it was when I lost Aslan my black cat and I, that reminds me I need to change my logo I no longer have two cats so I need to remove one of the cats the long-haired cat I need to remove from my logo so yes uh, so he was born 2010, 2010, and he died 2023. So, it, yeah. And uh, for this one, I actually started with, I put, just put this sticker down. And I just started building it. It had gold and yellow, and I just started playing with stuff that had the similar colors. And I ended up making a pocket with inspiration. And did some stuff on the back too. My favorite stamp. They're a little witch hat. Old hack. Um, so I just. Coffee in my love. Coffee is my love. She's an old soul with young eyes. A vintage heart and a beautiful mind. I like that one. It's cute. Um, so you don't. Have to make. Everything for someone else. You can make it so personal for yourself but I feel yeah. um, and here again reminder to myself to dare stuff to watch new goals dream is uh, to watch new goals and dreams one step at a time and it says inspire increase your happiness let's go kind of pushing myself little when you're having a really down day, you kind of need to make something to kick yourself in the butt. And again, my favorite stamp, my witch hat. And this one looked so much like my cat. So I put it there. And here I just had a piece of paper that I love the paper. So I wanted to do something with that paper. And I used a silver pen and just wrote something. It doesn't really make sense. It's like a beginning of a story. It's just a little thing. The raven waited patiently for her to arrive to, to, to the night to join him in darkness and that's it. So it's just a little inspirational page. I do write a lot too. I, I participate in NaNoWriMo every year. National Novel Writing Month. Coffee. Sometimes I just grab a quote and I build around it. Here I started with, I just wanted... I just wanted some of my favorite colors. The grunge, the green. This is green, yes. Um, and the coffee. I just... And here I was just doodling. 
And I ended up inking, putting glitter, put some words up there. And just, yeah. Here I found a photo and I just felt like, what, why, how, when? I was just so full of questions that day. I just didn't know where to go, didn't know what to do. I had so, I didn't know, should I do this? Should I buy that? Should I do this or that or go there? Or should I, you know, and I just did a page that reflected that. And here again, doodling. I had a dark day and uh, it showed, it showed. Um, and sometimes my darker images are my favorites when I go back and look through them because they remind me that even through dark times, I get through it. I'm here today. I'm still alive. I, my health is gone, but you know, I'm still here. So let's keep going. Uh, create, inspire, trust the process. That's something I need to <laughs> work more on. Uh, done is better than perfect. That's also something I really need to work on. And I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at it. Um, I'm more into enjoying the process now. And I'm a lot better at it than I was many years ago. Here's a little page about my ADHD. I uh, just wrote stuff down. Here's from my pain. I'm just writing, just writing stuff down. Um, and here the inspiration was the sticker and I built from that and here was <laughs> you know I did the video with the, with the crazy words and I was just confused and I found that owl that looked absolutely shocked and was like what so I just needed I just had fun just sometimes you just need to have fun and here I started with this image I thought it was pretty but it was so thin flimsy and um, I just wanted to make something green and happy and I love nature so I did I did lots of stickers and washi tape no writing whatsoever and here was another one of my confused days no ducks in a row only squirrels on a rave constant contemplating contemplating play-doh I have no idea what I meant with that but I had a confused day and I love these Beatrice Potter, the squirrels and the owl. Uh, it's a cute story too. And here's another reminder. Nothing is perfect, but a lot can be fun. Things happy, Think happy thoughts, funny, enjoy. And I find a lot of the days when I'm feeling really, really down and rotten. And I just... The, it, <laughs> Being in pain and and having a lot of health issues is very draining. And when you drain, it's very hard to be happy. And if you if you can't find a happy place in your head, uh, it's very hard to get anything done and then you feel even worse. So this is a reminder to myself. And something that makes me feel better is go on YouTube or somewhere and watch some stand up. And sometimes I can watch, I can have it on with my headphones. And once I start to smile, I might have to watch two or three of them before I am in a, such a good place that I actually can laugh. But once I get to that place, the day is a lot better and I get more done. And this is a reminder for me to go, actually go do that. Um... And this too. Be kind to yourself because I have a very mean inner voice. Trust me, there's nothing you can write that is as mean as my own inner voice. So um, that's it. Uh, so you can you can do, do quite a lot with just a notebook. This was a kind of fun size. But the papers in this is just very thin, very flimsy. And, but it's, yeah, it's fun. It's... Um, you can use anything. I'm currently working on this one. This is going to be a gift for a person. And uh, I have the clip there to know where I am. So I just did some light decorating on the edges. Some stamping, some washi tape. You know, try to keep it to a minimum to leave as much creativity to her as possible. So she can choose if she wants to decorate or if she wants to write in it. Uh, but I also tried to put in a lot of this motivational stuff. She believed she could, so she did. 
and unfortunately I put two of the same text <laughs> I didn't even notice because I've been working on this a little bit here and a little bit there um, and I put my clip here where I am so I don't really go back and look what I have done um, so a lot of stuff like that but I do have a few pockets not many but I left them as plain as I could and I, I'm itching to decorate it more, but I'm really trying my best to keep it as plain as possible, but still put some of me in here. Um, uh, yeah, and you can do, like, give it to a gift. Here I put knowledge, here I put hold on. Uh, no rain, no flowers. Make yourself proud. Collect moments, not things. Ooh, I don't... Ooh. I keep looking down at the book instead of what I'm filming. Here's another pocket. Um, enjoy the little things. Um, so we'll see if she likes it. I don't know what she will think about it. But it's far from... I was hoping to give it to her for Christmas. Um, we need something to believe in. Start with yourself. You are possum, one day at a time, the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. You can do this, and I've been using these to not get glue everywhere. I still do. I'm a very gluey person. <laughs> but, uh, do what makes you happy. And here I started to fill in a few things. Didn't want to fill out the whole thing, so this is still pale enough that you can write over it. Um, but it still gives a little bit of color pop. If she chooses to, she can keep filling it in or she can glue something over there. She can, you know, you can always alter. So I still have about a third to go um, before it's done. So it's almost Christmas. It's almost Christmas. That's why we have the Santas in the back here. Um, so let's see what other ideas did I have? Uh, let's see. You can use some scrapbooks, create recipe journals, daily planner, gratitude journal. Yes, garden journal. Uh, where you write down what, when you planted stuff, how they grew, what you did with it. That's also really good ideas. And, and even if you have a lot of tags and stuff, you can use one tag for one plant. Or you can just put little extra notes in there. Like this and that date I fertilized with this and that. Or something you know, um, travel journal is like the most common that I see. Uh, poetry journal, uh, you can write down your own poems or f poems that you find online or someone sends you or something that someone says. Uh, you can use it as a sketchbook, memory book. Uh, if you have a loved one, I actually have one for one of my dogs that I made. Uh, when I lost him, I made a little memory book with his photos and... You know, little memories here and there, wrote it down, and you can do that. Uh, like like the book I... Uh, where's my junk journal now? Where's my thick baby? I have no idea where I put my thick baby. Ah, it's missing. There you are. I put it on the chair next to me. So for this one, like, I put a lot of quotes in here, but also photos and stuff. So make it very personal. You can make it as a guest book, like I said. Uh, people can write stuff in it, a friendship book. Um, you can use it as a bullet journal. You can write down your habits, stuff you want to do, tick off your training, like make little diagrams, tick off when you train, what you train, how it felt, how, you know, all of that. Uh, you can use it for planning special events if you have a big birthday or... Maybe you're having a big Christmas party. You want to you you can start planning that. Um, and affirmations I wrote down here so differently, but for me motivation quotes and stuff like that it's it's kind of the same. So I put them all in here. Um, you can use it to if you have kids or grandkids. You can use it to write down their milestones when they start walking. Put the photos in there. Um, what else can you do? You can um, you can write letter to yourself, uh, future letters. You can write, use a page and just write a letter to yourself that you can read in the future. Today I feel this. My goals are blah blah blah, stuff like that. 
uh, if you are religious, you can do a prayer journal and you can write your spiritual journal journey. I don't know, blah, 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 words. Um, you can write down your favorite song lyrics. Uh, just have a bunch of song lyrics in there. Maybe group names that you like. Uh, the dates where you hear a certain song or something like that. Um, and of course, recipes for self-care, relaxation, um, home remedy. That was the word I was looking for earlier when we talked about uh, herbs and stuff. Um, make a journal with your favorite art. If you have a like an artist you really love like i love john bauer so i actually want to do a john bauer journal um he made a lot of trolls and they have a special look they are amazing um and again yeah travel we already talked about it. why did i write travel t three times uh anyway it's it's a fun junk journals and overall journals and notebooks and anything you can use it's a way to express yourself. It's documenting your life. It's 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 kind of an insight into your thoughts. So if I go back and look at this years from now, I kind of know where my thoughts were at the time, what my priorities were at the time, even though it's kind of... Uh, uh, it has a lot of like quotes that are... What's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, wide quotes uh i can still kind of know i know myself so i can kind of feel where my headspace were at um so you can put in like mementos like little tickets of course like collages you can doodle um you can use it if you learn to sketch like i've been doing so you can sit and sketch in it you can use it like a sketchbook uh, sketch like I did here on, on like the little tags just do a little doodle sketching uh, learning things you can like put more, if you have belly bands or pockets you can put like new pages in there where your sketches are um, and if you get letters or postcards from someone you can put them in there and just you can have one for each year or one for each month or you can use one for several years and you can have different themes on them and, and yeah, you can use them for so many things. And still people like, what am I going to do with this? I have given away so many journals to people who don't make junk journals and they're like, what am I going to do with it? <laughs> and I get so happy when I you, you see, see me buy some journals and I got this from a birthday so this is my favorite at the moment because I got this. She made me this. She made me this. It's so sweet and it's so much in it. And um, I mean, there, there's no limits. The only limit you have is your mind. Um, sometimes you can take like a little fabric from when one of your favorite clothing is breaking so you're going to throw it away just cut out a piece of fabric pin it into your journal write something about that just be grateful you had that clothing that was your favorite and it made you feel this and that and uh, yeah all of that um it's very easy to make a junk journal these little notebooky things are made from actually christmas card uh, you can see the little band here in the center. That's like folded Christmas card. So I just made extra bands. Glued image on the outside and the inside. Which made the, the really thick. You can see it's very thick hardcover. Um, and just a few pages in there. Not too much. Just a little bit. And you can decorate these. And it doesn't have to be more... Some ripped fabric that I dyed and grunged up. I'm still going to ink the edges and do some more stuff to them. But it doesn't have to be very complicated. It takes a little while to get the technique in and uh, so on. But it's very fun. It's very rewarding. And you can use them for so many things. And if you make little small ones, you can use like one for each month or one for each theme. Um, and I got a blabbing for... 15 minutes i've been blabbing for almost an hour and i didn't think i was gonna film this because i 
felt so crap today. Um, uh, let me just do a quick check on my list here. Um, yeah, like with the quote thingies, you can always like print them out yourself. Like I did there. I made, I write them different. Why am I so zoomed in? Not zoomed in. Okay, that was too much. Give me a little average here. <laughs> Give me a little average zoom. Okay, let's do that. And let's do this. So there. That might be a bit. I have my nut bowl over there. <laughs> um, you can use your little... This is watercolor pencils, but I use them as color pencils because these were... These doesn't really blend much with water. So I use them as just colored pencils. Um, to give a little color pop to the edges or to the writing or something like that. You can use fine liners, um, like regular pencils, uh, metallic pencils. You can do little sketches like I have here. Like that, and just put it in a pocket. Write something in the back if you want to. These are actually for a gift for a friend of mine. Uh, so I made her a few different images she can change. Uh, one of these are amazing to use for junk journaling. Uh, different colors. So you can doodle in different colors and still have the same pen. And they usually have this rubber. And I love writing with them. They're really nice. Um, don't forget that you can glue stuff in. You can get some, these are called, we call them bookmarks here. You call them die cuts in America. Um, you can glue some fun stuff in here and get inspired by it. If you find an image in a magazine or a quote in a magazine, something that just rip it up, glue it in. It gives you inspiration. So you can have an inspiration journal, uh, different colors maybe. Just go for it. There's no limit. And once a journal is yours, like she gave me this one, this is my nine to do what I want with. So again, when you get a journal or you buy a journal, it's yours to do what you want with. You can rip up pages, you can put new pages in, you can empty the pockets, put other things in the pockets. You know, I emptied these pockets and put some photos in here, for example, and there, there's no limits. You can do whatever you want, it's your journal. Oh my goodness, I've been blabbing. My coffee is cold now. Uh, and I need to put more wood on the, in the, in the fire so I have some warmth. It's really cold today. It went from minus 14 Celsius to minus 28 Celsius today. So it's almost minus 30. Um, it's really dipping, so it's probably going to be colder than minus 30 Celsius. <sighs> again tonight and I'm really not looking forward to that so um, I hope they give you some inspiration some ideas and sorry for blabbing so long and uh, <laughs> my plan was to divide this into several different videos and I might come up with more videos later on will show you more what I've done uh, if you want inspirational quotes or something if you want me to talk more about that or you know doodling or just something if you if you need something let me know tell me in the comments what do you want to see what do you want to hear and again thank you so much for being here i love you so much it's been a lifesaver actually uh, kind comments you know can really get you through the roughest days it's it's amazing and i love you guys and thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here and thank you for the sweet people that have followed me on, on Instagram and writing to me. And I, I love you guys so much. It's, it's amazing. And I wish I had more videos for you. I have a lot of ideas and I'm crafting a lot. I just really low energy. So I haven't filmed it. Um, and yeah, but I've been crafting a bit today. I think you can see the ink on my nails. Ink and, ink and color and paint. I actually been painting a bit today too. That was kind of nice. But uh, I'm feeling really poopy. So I'm going to go rest. I'm going to go rest now. And I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas holiday. Whatever you celebrate. And 
I hope you get a lot of warm loving hugs and if nothing else you get one from me now I love you guys so much thank you for being here and I will hope to see you really soon bye